horseback riding is one of the leading causes of sport-related traumatic brain injuries, but some also use it to heal from them. Our Laura Ullman shows us the benefits of animal-assisted therapies. At Kimberly Farms in Shaftesbury, Valerie Shemeth is helping people overcome life-altering injuries. We've had a number of people come to us after brain injuries and utilize riding. The thought that they're controlling a thousand pound horse is very empowering. She runs a horse tending and riding program she says helps people with physical and mental illness. One of her clients was a professional racer who was crushed by a horse on the racetrack. She was in a coma for a long time and then she started coming out of her coma and getting her back on a horse, most people were a nervous wreck to do it. Research shows almost half of equestrian riders okay, experience yeah. concussions during their careers, but most of those riders return to the sport. Shemeth says the connection to the animals and the experience of riding is too empowering to quit. But once she got on the horse, it was like her whole world changed. University of Vermont's Larner College of Medicine researcher Dr. Caleb Freeman says animals can provide social support, structure, and stress relief. So having, um emotional connections, uh, personal time together, and uh, support from uh, pets can be a very powerful type of therapy for any medical problem, and in particular for head injuries. Carlene Southville works at the farm with Shemeth. She says her relationship with the horses is one of the central ways she copes with her mental illness. I have really bad anxiety, and every time I come to work and I'm around, around all these lovely horses, including Mitty and Tilly, my anxiety goes away. Studies show equine assisted therapies can improve balance, well-being, quality of life, trust, self-esteem, and a sense of accomplishment. As dangerous as the sport is for riders, for equestrians like Southville, the benefits outrace the risk. The safest way to ride is with people you trust, to wear a helmet, and to hold your hands in the right position. Reporting in Shaftesbury, I'm Laura Ullman, Channel 3 News. Laura, thank you.